Panthers. Lane so one. East I'm Carolina is not the team that you want to back historically. Since 2016, they've only covered about 34% of the time. I don't know about you, Tony, but that's not good. Uh, East Carolina has not been a good team. But I think I don't understand how they are even favored in this matchup. Uh, they can put up a lot of points very quick, quickly. This kid, Holden Ehlers, is a baller. Um, I... I this is just a pure gut. I'm, I'm not breaking down the matchup any more than this. I don't understand how Georgia State could be favored in this, in this game. I just don't get it. I think the betting markets are not are, are over-evaluating or over-emphasizing last week's results. where Or two weeks ago, Georgia State covered against ULL. That was a letdown spot for ULL. ECU, obviously, they weren't going to perform very well against UCF, who might be in the fucking playoff. Um, so these teams, otherwise, they don't have any other film from this year. I like ECU to win this game outright. I'm going to be back in the dog, um, obviously, on the money line. But it's only, they're only a one-point dog. But I'll be back on the money line. So what do you make of the Panthers quarterback, Cornelius Brown? What do you make of this slender young man? He weighs a buck ninety. That's about how much I weigh, by the way. He's he's pretty slender. What do you think of this slender young man? I want to root for him on that basis alone. They seem to be getting four and a half yards per play, which I don't love. That's not a that's not a that's not a number of yards per play I love. I guess so it was a good I, one game, but it wasn't good. Is this well, ECU's defense is bad. Um, I don't know about Georgia, Georgia State, um, but ECU can put up points. Um, let's look at this real quick here. Um, but yeah, they have their their wide receiving core is okay as well. But this kid Holden Aylers is is honestly. He's a really stud, like sleeper QB. He's not going to be drafted, um, but I think he's going to surprise some folks later down in in this season. You know, they haven't played yet, so they don't really have a lot of eyes on them. Let's look at this game, the ULL versus Georgia State game. Okay. I. So this is so this is the debut. Okay. No, they played UCF the and they lost. I but see. In this game, hmm. I don't. It looks like okay. There were two turnovers in the ULL Georgia State game. Fine. Um, ULL out. Oh my god. ULL outgained Georgia State by a hundred yards. What the fuck happened in this game? I did not watch highlights. Mm. But this this smells fishy here, right? I see what you mean. I see what you mean. These 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 are paper Panthers. Okay, you want to? No, I'm going to the money line. Them. You didn't give yourself a lot of just win the game. Plus one. Well, it doesn't really matter. But uh, well, I mean, it's not gonna be a money. Yeah, you're gonna be laying dollars. Like, okay, I, look, hey, um, I um. Yeah, I I see I see East Carolina winning the game. I have I you know I can't escape I can't escape the feeling that uh that uh that the Panthers are gonna try to win this game desperately though. This might be a bit of a kitchen Let's sink. Let's see situation. here real quick, Tony. So on yeah, so all the uh, from an odds perspective, it's kind of crummy. So for plus one is minus 115 on DraftKings. My line is minus 106. So yeah, no matter what the situation here is, here is I got to pay the juice. Um, let's see if this line moves at all. But I think on game day, I, I'm going to go with whatever the, the, the smallest amount of juice is and lay it with East Carolina. All right, I feel you. Okay. All right, Pirates plus one. That's what we're grading at. Very nice, very nice. All right, we keep pushing. We're going on. 
rotation.